good. How are you guys doing? Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. A little, a little tired from the day, but so this is so exciting for us. Uh, to break. We've been thinking about this moment being back home uh, since we won. So to bring the gold medals back, uh, it's feeling unbelievable. So we haven't come down off Cloud Nine, is what we kept saying. And uh, even though we haven't slept in probably three or four days, it's, we don't need it anymore. Yeah, what a warm welcome to come home to. And we felt this love and support when we were over there in Korea. We, we knew we weren't alone on the ice. And uh, to get home and see everyone and, and share in the celebration, it's really special. Are you expecting a crowd like this? No, not at all. Yeah, yeah, not we, at all. <laughs> we, it's, it's a little overwhelming. We didn't, we didn't know what to expect, but this community has always uh, really supported us through our whole career, and uh, we've relied on them. So it is it is crazy to see the amount of people that came today. And uh, obviously, it's it's been over a week, but uh, there's there's still living the Olympics, which is so much fun for us. Yeah, it's so heartwarming. What's next? Uh, we'll regroup for a few days here at home and see our families and uh, we'll choreograph some show numbers and then we'll head out on tour. We're in Japan and then all the way across Canada. So we'll stay busy and we'll stay on the ice performing but in a different capacity which is exciting. Is there a word you would use to describe how your experience was this year? Not really. That's been the struggle. I mean, it was different than any of our other Olympics but what was surprised us was how none of the magic had worn off. You know, if anything, it's more, you, f you feel more patriotic. And I think we understand a little bit uh, more what it means to represent Canada, wear the flag on our back. And um, it was a special month for Tess and I. Uh, just being a part of that team again was our whole goal. And uh, to be able to have the four skates kind of of our lives and, and bring home two Olympic, two Olympic golds for this country and for our communities, it's pretty huge. How do you come down from the high of the last few weeks? Do we have to? Yeah, exactly. No. We're going to have to. I don't know. That's a, that's a great question. Um, but we're not going to try and do that anytime soon. I think there's a lot of people, obviously, that family members and that couldn't be in, in Korea with us. And uh, obviously, we understand that. But we'll be looking forward to seeing them now. And all the people have always been there to support us. I think that's how you come down. You hang out with them and uh, kind of share the memories. I mean, it's been a long time with Tess and I. So uh, we're enjoying every single moment. You guys feeling a lot of jet lag? Right now? Uh, well, we're yeah. fresh off a 24-hour travel day, so uh, I'm sure it will hit us later, but um, this helps. That's, a, that's the least <laughs> of our worries. Yeah, it's uh, it's just remarkable to be here and, and see everyone. Was this one more special than, than once in the past? It's hard to really put that label on it. it. It's special and sentimental because it's been 20 years in the making, and it's sort of the culmination of it all competitively. and. It couldn't have gone any better for us. I mean, with carrying the flag, having the individual yeah. uh, medal and the team event, sharing that with our friends. And uh, we're so proud of our performances, but I think that's mostly a testament to our team for having prepared us the way they did. Our coaches are truly the best in the world. And our B210 team in Montreal, our, you know, our off-ice staff. And um, I think the best feeling was really taking the ice knowing that we had done everything possible to prepare for those moments and as an athlete that's all you can ask for. Same for you Scott? Yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, many people here are from Ilderton. You're back home in London in Canada. How do you feel? Oh it's so nice to be back on home soil. Um, you know after a long month away it, uh, it feels nice to touch down here and we can't wait to celebrate with our communities here. What's the celebration? Sorry. How special was it to have Matthew Cross and pick this with you? Well, I mean, it was. it's an interesting... Uh, there are new coaches, obviously, but they've had their own Olympic moment in 2006 that didn't end the way that, uh, you know, they wanted it to. And it's been great to kind of reflect on that and kind of build our own Olympic moment together. And uh, part of this two-year plan to come back was made very special with them because... I mean, they started that whole idea, and we started working with them and started to fall in love with the sport again, and um, we enjoyed every minute of working with those two, so we're so happy that they're there with us, obviously sitting in the kiss and cry and sharing the moment. Might there be some coaching in your future? Great question. There's a lot of questions about our future that we have to sit down and figure out, uh, but who knows? What's a celebration until? You don't have to train anymore. What do you, what do you huh. have to do as a Good. celebration on your back home? I think just spending time with our family and friends. Yeah, and, uh, that's changed. We've, lo we've loved training in Montreal for the past two years, but really haven't made it back home very often. So it'll be nice just to have some quiet moments, and uh, I'm sure some champagne will come out. But uh, 
Yeah, just get to debrief and catch up with our teams. Were you guys expecting such a big crowd here? Not at all. No. no. It's, I remember coming home after the Vancouver games and there were sirens and I turned to Scott and I was confused and worried that something happened and he said, I think those are for us. And, you know, you think I would have learned that our communities are this amazing and so supportive, but I uh, certainly wasn't expecting this kind of turnout today and it's wonderfully touching. And what's the future like for you too? Uh, how's, how are you going to continue this relationship? Well, Tess and I are lucky in figure skating that we get to uh, go on tour now or do the Stars and Ice Tour in Japan and Canada and then uh, a couple more in Japan. Um, through, kind of takes us all the way up to the summer. So we're excited about that because uh, we love skating together, we love working together. So to be able to uh, do that maybe without the pressure of, of the judges and making sure that every point counts, uh, I think that'll be liberating a little bit right now for us. So we're looking forward to that. That's the, kind of the next chapter for us and then we have to kind of see what the future holds. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Thank you very Thank much. You so we appreciate much you coming. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Congratulations so much. Congratulations. 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 Can you sign this for her as well? Thank you so much. Awesome. There you go, beauty. Those quite the pair of skates. Are those yours? I've had them since I was 12. <laughs> so they're what, 10, 15 years old? Yeah, right. I wish. <laughs> you got them on a graph. How, yeah, how does that feel? Wonderful. I will engrave, get them embossed. I'm not waiting for Scott's. We'll see if we can get them over here. Okay. Scott, there's some skates that need to be signed over here for you. Yes. You owe me. <laughs> Thank you.